Mika Ninagawa's Helter Skelter aligns with Laura Mulvey's ideas in a very similar way to how Cindy Sherman's photography progresses from the 70s into the 80s. Ninagawa is critical of the fetishistic economy by romanticizing beauty through the cultural perceptions of young Japanese girls and the public's opinions reacting to the media. Lilico capitalizes on this, which eventually distorts and deteriorates her. Ninagawa shows how capitalizing on the fetishism of youth and beauty through Lilico, a once plain girl transformed into a living doll, can have harmful consequences like skin discolorations if she doesn't take medication every day and painful cosmetic surgeries. Lilico's addictions drive her mad and attempting to maintain her status as a top model against Kozu pushes her over the edge. Like Sherman in her early works, Ninagawa includes herself as a photographer, objectifying Liliko's masquerade, posing in the vocabulary of romanticized femininity, simultaneously demure and alluring with insistent exhibitionist sexualization of women. Both Ninagawa and Sherman subjects also wear respectable yet eroticized clothes. Then Ninagawa reveals Liliko's masquerade by exposing the ugliness beneath Liliko's perfectly constructed image. Like Sherman, Ninagawa blends Liliko in subordination to her surroundings with light and color and soft limp poses in her photo shoots with Kozu and when she is sat alone. Then she distorts and deteriorates Liliko using bright, harsh light, high contrast color, and theatrically parroting the kind of feminine image geared towards erotic consumption and materializes Lilico's unconscious. Desire keeps on even if Lilico's gone. Bye bye. Masani, Helta Skelta. Smarty, Shitchaka Mitchaka.